let's talk about prime factorization. When you say prime factorization, this is a process of breaking down a given number as a product of prime numbers. Just to recall, what are prime numbers again? Okay, so we when we say prime numbers, these are numbers that have only two factors, which are one and itself. Example, seven. So seven and one. How about three? Three and one. Okay, therefore, these are called prime numbers. Okay, so let's proceed to the first method, factor three method. 3, factor 3 kasi para siyang puno na may iba-ibang branches. Now, take note of these numbers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. These are the most commonly used prime factors in prime factorization. Though, there are still a lot of prime numbers. Pero ito yung mga pinaka-common na nagagamit. Okay, so let's try 24. Just think of two factors of 24, except one. Okay, so let's try 6 and 4. Okay, tingnan natin, 6. Nandito na ba sa listahan? Wala pa. How about 4? It's not still in the list. So, let's continue. Again, think of the prime factor, or think of the factors of 6, except 1. 3 and 2. O, tignan natin sa listahan. Meron ng 2, ba? Okay, so in circle. Meron na rin 3. Okay, so yan na yung end. Let's also have 4. Hindi pa siya tapos. What are the factors of 4? 2 and 2. So, are these in the list? Yes, they are. So, we are done. Therefore, the prime factors of 24 using the factor 3 method are 3, 2, 2, and 2. How are we going to check if our answer is correct? Let us just multiply all of the prime factors. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2, 12. 12 times 2 is 24. Therefore, our answer is correct. Let's try another example. How about 40? Okay, so let's solve for the prime factors of 40. Think of a pair of factors of 40, except 1. You may say 8 and 5. Okay, so what should I encircle here? Yes, it's 5. 5 is already a prime factor and it's in the list. Now let's continue. 8, how about 4 and 2? Okay, and circle 2 because it's already a prime factor. Let's continue with 4, 2 and 2, and they are already prime factors. Therefore, the prime factors of 40 are 2, 2, 2, and 5. How do we correct if our answer is check? 2 times 2, 4, times 2, 8, times 5 is 40. Therefore, our answer is correct. So we go to the second method, which is called the composition or repeated division. Anong gagawin natin dito? Example, we have 40. So think of a prime number which can be divided by 40. Uh, divisible. Uh, if you're not so familiar with divisibility rules, you may check the link posted above. It's all about divisibility. Okay, so let's go back. Ano kaya ang pwede natin i-divide sa 40? Let's choose 2. 40 divided by 2 is 20. Is 20 already a prime number? Not yet. So tuloy-tuloy lang. Uh, how about 5? 20 divided by 5 is 4. Is 4 a prime number? Not yet. So let's continue. Let's continue. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Is 2 a prime factor? Yes, it's already a prime number. Therefore, the prime factors of 40 
are 2, 5, 2, and 2. Again, we can check if our answer is correct by multiplying the factors 2 times 5 times 2 times 2. 2 times 5, 10 times 2, 20 times 2 is 40. Therefore, our answer is correct. Another example, how about 48? So again, choose a prime number which is divisible by 48. So we have 2. So 48 divided by 2 is 24. 24 is not yet a prime number, so let's continue dividing it by another divisible number. So 24 divided by 3 is 8. 8 is not still a prime number. Let's continue. Let's choose 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Hindi pa rin siya prime number. Continue. 4 divided by 2. And then 2. Is 2 a prime number already? Yes. So we stop from there. Therefore, our prime factors are 2, 3, 2, 2, and 2. Let's check. 2 times 3, 6 times 2, 12 times 2, 24 times 2 is 48. Therefore, the answer is correct. And the last method, again, it's for the professionals. Yung mga kabisadong kabisado, yung multiplication tables. Ito yung mental math. Now, let's do mental math. 100. Okay, think of, you just use your head. Think of two factors, except one, um, of 100. So we have 50 and 2, right? And 2 is already a prime factor, so isusulat na lang natin yung 2. And 50 is left in your head. Factors of 50, 25 and 2. So isusulat ulit yung 2 kasi 2 is a prime factor. What's left is 25. Factors of 25, 5 and 5. And 5 is a prime factor. So we have these prime factors. 2, 2, 5, and 5. Let's check. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 5 is 20. Times 5 is 100. Therefore, our answer is correct. This time, you're going to do it yourself. Solve for the prime factors of 30. You may pause the video, then come back later for the solution. Now that you're done, Let's have factor 3. Okay, so think of two factors of 30 except 1. So we have 10 and 3. 3 is already a prime factor. So we continue with 10. We have 5 and 2. Therefore, the prime factors of 30 are 5, 2 and 3. Let us check. 5 times 2, 10 times 3 is 30. I hope you got the correct answer. So let's have another number. How about 80? So this time let's do the composition or repeated division. 80 divided by 2 is 40. Another divisible number, 5. 40 divided by 5 is 8. Oh, we continue because we haven't arrived at a prime number yet. So, anong di divide 2? Okay, 4. Hindi pa rin. Divided by 2. We have 2. So, the prime factors are 2, 2, 2, 5, and 2. Let's see. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 5, 40 times 2 is 80. I hope you got the same numbers as well. We go to the last number, 72. This time, let's do mental math. Okay, so think of two numbers or two factors of 72. You may have thought about 9 and 8. 9 and 8 are not still prime factors, so let's factor out 9. Oh, 3 and 3. What's left in our head is 8, right? Factors of 8, 
4 and 2. 2 is the prime factor there. What's left is 4. Factors of 4, 2, and 2. Are they prime factors? Yes. So let's check if our answer is correct. 3 and 3, 9 times 218 times 236 times 272. So we got a correct set of numbers. That's it for today. Watch out for more maths and English lessons. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button for more updates. Thank you and God bless.